Alfredo, she's all yours. <coughs> Mi tía no me va a dejar aquí metido. <coughs> Tú la llamaste, yo te di el número. Tratan a la gente como unos animales aquí. ¿Animales? Tú tienes que estar relajando. Ah, eso es lo que tú crees. Eso es lo que ustedes creen. Tú no me veas mi preña aquí. Ni siquiera me han dado agua y medicina, que es lo mínimo que uno se merece. ¡Chalo! Ponte la máscara. Llévatela. I've seen a lot of unbelievable stuff in my life. Him, I introduced him to his wife. He's been married longer than me. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> totally shocked. I thought you would only marry your damn daughter. <laughs> you know, uh, man. You know what it is? Yeah, it's my job, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> where that? You yeah, react. Sanitation worker doesn't take his truck home with him, man. <laughs> oh, and this guy. Come on. <laughs> you know, we went to the casino and he's running around. Hey, buddy, my one, my one. He's like, how much did you make? 500 pennies. Oh, that was 500 pennies. Come on, guys. Like, take this serious, okay? Come on. Take one, let's go. Tranquila. 
a doctor. Let's take it to the hospital. You know, it's not like a good option right now. Everybody's dying there. At least here, we can provide her what she needs. I get it, but what if we can't get what she needs? She needs her oxygen tank all the time. And we need to refill it every day. I'll talk to Michael. Ask him for a loan. Are you out of your mind, bro? Michael? Don't you know how he operates? How merciless and evil he is? Don't worry about it. I'll figure out a way. Even if I gotta kill somebody. <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> Yosef. I'm here to see Michael. What do you want? This is Joseph. You have COVID? No, I don't have COVID. Hey, Mike. Joseph. How are you? Well, Beautiful home. Thank you. So, talk to me. What's going on? Um, actually, a client sent this for you. Feels about right. Yeah, but he wanted me to talk to you. He said he's gathering the rest of the money for you as soon as possible. But he really would appreciate it if you don't take us home. So much for going on the field. So what's the story this time? He said he's having a couple of issues, but he's working hard to get it back. Listen to me. He put his house up for collateral. He knew that was the deal. He's got two days. In two days, his house belongs to me. 
no excuses, no stories. Well, Mike, so, that's his family house, you know? He don't really want to lose it with his grandparents, you know? Business is business. I've heard all the stories, man. I work hard for my money, too. You know what I mean? Two, right. two days. That's it. I get it. Anything else? Mike, I got an emergency. I still want to talk to you. Listen, uh, give me uh, give me three or four minutes. All right? I gotta take care of something. What is it? Listen, it's an emergency. My mother has COVID. Her lungs are damaged, and she's in an oxygen tank. Uh -huh. Basically, I really came here to ask for a loan. The last time you did this, you screwed me over. How much do you need? About twenty grand. Twice as much as before. You know what? What's in here? About 20 grand. Joseph, I'm giving you two weeks to return that to me. No interest, but I'm giving you two weeks. You screwed me over before. Please don't do it again. And I rarely say please. Don't do it this time, all right? It won't happen. It better not happen. That's all I have to say. Rupert, that's your new name. Practice. And this is for your country. my envelope? Yes, your envelope. Come with me. This is your house. 
I know you've been working very hard. You can feel free to take any drink. Here is your TP. You can use it. Thanks. Let me show you your room. Well, well, Rupert, this is your bedroom. Here you have a closet, you have some suit in there. Feel free to use any one. Alright? So, I know you need it and feel comfortable. And uh, hold on, I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Right, so, huh? Not big, too big, but I can throw you some. Oh, you see, carrito mio. Ay, que lindo. I have to go to work <laughs> and I have to move around. Mm -hmm. Try it out. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see, mijo. Ay, que bonito, mi carrito. <laughs> Don't get excited. <laughs> Money. Right here, Pedro. Sure. Come on, man. Cover your mouth. <laughs> Listen, we haven't been able to reach your eye. We call, no one answers. But I want you to know this. My boss doesn't play around when it comes to his money. Listen to me. Look up. I'm taking no shots. You can hear every word I say. I don't want any mistakes. You told me your cousin would be here for you a week ago. I've been feeding you for a week for free. Where is she? Ask you a question. Where is she? Listen to me. Crying isn't going to get you out of this. You're in a little deep right now. You have your money by 6 o'clock tonight. Boy, it's, it's over for you. It's just, it's over for you. You, you're a whole different story. Your family called this morning, they still don't have the money. I guess you got an excuse too, right? Go ahead, let me hear your excuse. Come on. Come on. Hey Mike, this is Ralph. How are you doing? Good. By any chance, do you have the money? 
Yes, you do? Good. Can I pick it up today? Awesome. Uh, by the way, we have a good news. We have a new group coming from the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Actually, they got stuck in Puerto Rico. So they need our help. They need the documents, social security, passport. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, we can talk later. Take care. Excuse me, boss. Ralph is here. Sure. Yes, sir. Mike. For you. Awesome. Everything is good, man. It's good to be here. How's business these days? You doing better now? I got something for you. I don't have to tell you that we don't want anything to go wrong. And believe me, a lot can go wrong with this much money. Right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to let it go wrong. No way. I trust you more than I trust my own mother. Mm -hmm. You can count on me. As always. Sure, I can. Don't worry about it. We're gonna get the documents today. I wanna see you later. Okay? No problem. Thank you. Travel safe, brother. You too, man. God bless.
Yeah. Where are you, bro? In the kitchen. Where are you? You know that you've been missing for days and I cannot do this alone. You're supposed to be here with me. She's getting worse. And all oh, this is a freaking nightmare. Calm down. Are you giving her the treatment? Yeah. And thank you for the money. Escúchame. Are you listening? Yes, I am. Go right next to the refrigerator in the bottom cabinet. Open it up. What's that? Slide the top door out. There should be a metal box. Check it out. I see it. There are two envelopes in there. The one marked with the number one is for mom's treatment. The other one is to pay the interest to Michael on the loan. You must be wondering about my ass. Where is all this, Joseph? Where are you? It's better if you don't know. I'll send you the money for the next interest payment for Michael in the next two weeks. Look, you know you gotta be here, bro. Who, who are you talking to? You talking to Joseph? Where is he? Mom, you're supposed to be sick. <laughs> eh? You're supposed to be resting. No, let, let me talk to him. Let me talk. Let me talk to him. Joseph? Mom, where are you? Mom, please go to bed. You need a rest. No, you think I'm a fool, but I know you're not here because you don't want to deal with me, right? <coughs> I leave everything to your brother. <coughs> Mom, I'm busy. No, you're not busy. What is can be more busy than be with your mother, huh? Huh? <coughs> I'm working right now. Working? I can't be there. Working? No, you're not working. You out there doing who knows what. Okay, come home. Come home. I need you. Mom, I am. Uh... No mommy, okay? Damn it. I can deal with your brother, you know? I can deal with him. He's taking all my energy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I apologize. I'm sorry. My I was so distracted. I'm, I have a lot on my mind. I'm so sorry. It's alright, it's alright. Hey, can I help you with? Um, yeah. Let okay. me help you with these first. Thank you. Uh, and again, I'm so sorry. It's alright, it's alright. I have a lot of family issues. Me too. I'm going through something with my father, with my brother and my mother. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's, it's tough times and um, I'm just so distracted. What's going on? Um, my, um, my mom is going through COVID. Sorry to hear that. My mom actually has COVID, so. I'm so sorry. I hope she gets better and it's, it's tough. And my cousin, he's I'm pregnant and she's missing and yeah, I, sorry. I just don't know what to do. It's understandable, it's understandable. But I see you did some shopping. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of have to, you know, it's just me. What's going on? Listen, you tell him there's no extensions, no Thursday, no Friday. Tuesday is it. And if he doesn't have my money, the house is mine. That was the collateral he put up. That's the deal. I don't, I don't care about anything else. No, 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 no. I don't care about anything else. Just that. You get in here when you can. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm here. 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 I'm here.
Should I hang up? I don't hear you. Uh, don't you respect the curfew? Right, but see, I'm neither a first responder nor an elderly person. And plus, I'm about to go to bed. You saw me once and you want to see me again? Wow. You must really be afraid I'm going to sue you, aren't you? Hey. Oh, hey. I told you I'm not, not ready. Oh, I told you it was coming. Um, I didn't think it was going to take you that long. But uh, I just need to find out a little bit more uh, about your cousin. What was it that you told me? That you were Remember, I told you you're coming from the yard. Right, but the airport is closed. Right, it's a long, long story. All right, all right. I'm gonna let you get ready. I'll uh, come back over. Right? Okay. Hey, what's up? Hey, Jay, you know why we're here. We need to know how much money you paid to get out of that basement. And to who? Listen, there are people in the basement. They're coughing and sneezing on each other. You need to do something about that. We want to know how much money you paid to escape that basement. Listen. How much? Now. Listen, there's so many people down there that's coughing and coughing all on each other. All right? We need to get the hell out of the basement. What we need to know, what we need to know is how many people were down there in that basement. I don't know the number of people in that basement. Can you pull up your mask, please? I'm getting COVID just looking at you. So who's the source? We don't have all day, and I think you're stalling. Who is the source? Do you know if you don't tell me who the source is, do you know you're going straight to jail? Straight to jail. Going back. Okay. So, so who's you the said source? Back. Tell me the name. Look, everybody knows big man. Who's Big Man? I don't know Big Man. Do you know Big Man? I don't know Big Man. Do you know Big Man? I just said I don't know Big Man. Now talk. We need to know who it is. Who? We don't have all day. Who? Who did you pay that money to? Did and how much? No idea. So how many people were down there? I don't know. You have to tell us. It's a safety precaution. I don't know. There's a lot of people, they're coughing all over the place. Do Listen. you know if you're going to jail if you don't tell us? I'm not going back. You're going straight to jail if you don't I'm tell not us. I'm going back. Okay. So who? It's Big Man. Everybody knows who Big Man is. I gave 7800 to him. I don't know Big Man. I gave him $7,800. From where? Where did you get the money from? And who's the big man? I have my sources. Look, we don't have all day for this. Who is the big man? Who did you pay the money to and how much? We don't have all day. Your black ass is going back to jail. Big man is Alfredo. Alfredo? It's big man. Ah, Alfredo's big man. Can you show us Alfredo? Uh, 
got any money. And where did you get the money? I have my sources. Ah, you got your sources. I'm not going back. Where did, who did you get the money from? You got it from somewhere. I don't think you understand how this goes. You tell us what we need to know, and you tell us fast. I just told you. Agents arrested Julio and his employees. Some guy talked. What guy? Don't you know? No, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Let me tell you. It's one of your men. Who? Alfredo. He took money from one of the immigrants and didn't report it to you. You better watch your back. Filthy damn basement this evening, man. I'm telling you. Everybody's got a reason for not having any money. Hey, boss. Guys here. What's him? Big M. What's happening? What y'all talking about? Why is everybody looking at each other like that? Are you sure? I'm damn sure. What happened? I, I didn't do anything. Ricky, what's going on? Wait, well, hold on, Ricky. Ricky, we've been working together. Shut up. Come on, man. Shut man. up. Come on, man. Shut up. Get each other. Come on, Ricky. I didn't do nothing. Whoa.
undocumented people were found by immigration agents in a local facility in the Bronx. Listen, I don't want any more trouble with these uh, immigrants being brought over here in trucks, man. We lost quite a few a couple of weeks ago. Ah, that's a bunch of crap. No, I'm not going to pay for any damn air conditioning for a truck. They don't need it. A facility in the Bronx. According to the lead agent, these people were brought by the coyotes from Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, and the Dominican Republic. The lead agent also stated that these people were held hostage due to not paying their ransom or refusing to do so. It is believed that these people are infected with COVID-19. There are some people who died from the virus and the inhumane conditions they were held under. Among the dead, there is a pregnant woman who died of asphyxiation. This is a terrible tragedy, and the authorities are working hard searching for the people responsible for these crimes. Here is here that there is a young lady who has been refused entry to the hospital. This is what is grieving you. people I'm, now I'm giving people COVID right all this nonsense it's in here it's in here it's in that crazy basket you call a brain it's not my fault I'll tell you what when you find out what's going on you tell me because I have no damn idea Shouldn't he be worried? 
What if he leaves you? What would you do then? I have a stash and an agreement. If he leaves me, cheats on me, or dies, I got to keep the house. What about if he finds out about us? Oh my god, I knew it. It was my cousin. I'm so heartbroken. Oh my god. They wouldn't even let me identify the body. They called me through a video call. But they're scheduling the burial for tomorrow. to be there with my aunt and aunt. <coughs> Thank you. I, I, I really I really appreciate that. <coughs> okay. Thank you so much. Okay, I appreciate you coming. Sorry for your loss. This is my aunt. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. How are you guys doing? Can I give you guys a ride? Oh, we're, we're actually waiting for a taxi. No, no, please, please. I'm right around the corner. It's just... Okay, okay, we appreciate that. Thank you.
mom. I gotta go now. <clears throat> Cause I gotta stop to do something before work, okay? Okay, papi. Take care. Okay, vaya con Dios. Call me if anything, okay? Okay, maneja el paso, eh? Go, go slow, you know? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Coming, John. I'm coming. <laughs> coming. Oh, my God. <sighs> John, I'm coming. <coughs> coming, John. Who are you? Who are you? It's Joseph. I don't know, sir. It's Joseph. I don't know. Who are you? Who are you? Joseph. Who are you? Where's Joseph? I don't know, sir. Where is Joseph? Joseph. I don't know. Where's your brother? I've seen him around here in days. Been looking for him. He's at home. He's hit with COVID. He sent you the interest money. Your brother has COVID and he's homesick. Right. Yeah, he's hit with COVID on Michael. He sent you the interest money. Put along with me. He doesn't want to be late, so he sent it with me because he doesn't want any problems. Why not? You drink? No, thank you. It's good stuff. Why don't you take a seat? It'll be an honor, but I got clients to serve. I came here first because I didn't want to get busy and then forget about bringing the money. Yeah, but that's it. Take a seat. You got a problem. Yeah, that's a big one.
have bad news. John and Mary got hurt. Michael, yeah, Michael's man hurt them badly. They are in the hospital as we speak. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Tell me. Do you like some coffee? Yes. Please take a seat. Something you want to tell me? Uh, yes. Do you have the documents? I do. Let me go get the briefings. Please. Mm. 
Great. You have done a great job. Yes. Because of it, Rafa and Alfredo, two notorious human traffickers, are now dead. We are sorry for Pedro. He was collateral damage. Collateral damage? I must tell you that my course investigation will continue. We will monitor all his activities wherever he goes. You've been through a lot. I would suggest you that you take some time off and lay low. Lay low? After everything he's done? Can't let him get away with that? You know how many people he killed? How many families he destroyed? My mother and brother are in ICU because of him. Remember, this is not personal. It's all personal to me. I was afraid that you would take it like that. How would you like if your mother was in ICU? Fix the issue. That's what the hell I pay you for. Listen, let me ask you something. Have you seen or, or heard of anything with Joseph lately? Nah, I haven't. Uh, that's why I'm asking you. You looking for me, huh? A body was found today in the Bronx. According to the police report, it belonged to Michael Washington, who was the leader of the human trafficking ring. Other members of the trafficking ring were arrested by the authorities, some of whom had pending murder charges. It is also speculated that the authorities were involved in the ring.